Hola familia, Jose Noel here and this is Leather Style. Today we are doing something very special. We are going through my personal leather jacket collection. Just as a precursor, these are not all of the leather jackets that JL Rocha has ever made. They are not all of the jackets that you can see when you visit our showroom in San Diego. These are just my personal jackets and they are comprised of all JL Rocha makes. These are jackets that you can get now at jlrocha.com and some of these people have never seen before because they're samples that are special just to me. So without further ado, in no particular order, let's get started going through all of my leather jackets. Leisure Back Cafe Racer. This is my first design. I collaborated with my dad on this design when we initially made the first batch of JL Rocha jackets. And this particular cafe racer is the only jacket that we have ever reordered from JL Rocha collections. This is what got us started on the one of 100 journey that we are on right now. We initially made 50 jackets of each of these, one in brown, one in black. And because of the popularity of the design, this jacket was reordered and it is still a beautiful piece that I absolutely love. The honey colored actually has an orange stitching that is unique to that specific reference. The black one has a gray stitching that makes it more modern and understated, but the orange stitching on this jacket really gives it a unique touch that elevates it, gives it a little bit more energy, and modernizes this classic style because the elbow patches can serve as a vintage touch and this just really brings it all together in a way that is unique. The JL Rocha Minimalist Moto Jacket. This is the original design that I came up with that has since been used in different references for JL Rocha collections. We've come out with this jacket in brown and of course you are familiar with our Bravo Moto Jacket which is the latest and ultimate iteration of this style. The big thing with this original Minimalist minimalist moto jacket is that I designed it reminiscent of the jacket that Tom Cruise wore in Minority Report. I think that that jacket was just so sleek and so sporty that this style really is something that is meant for the man who can do anything. I love the first iteration of this jacket because it has a very small detailing in terms of the orange stitching and the orange piping on the inside of the lining. And when it comes to our Bravo Moto jacket, the material is spotless. The lambskin leather that we use for this is a little bit thicker than the original Moto jacket, which makes the jacket a little more rugged. But beyond that, I love the signature crest on the blue Bravo Moto jacket because it really really just is a testament to our family and our family history. It's something that I never get tired of seeing and the blue is truly unique. The original JL Rocha asymmetrical moto jacket. Now this jacket is very near and dear to my heart. I wore it for pretty much all of my time in college and this is the original jacket that inspired the icon jacket. While this jacket is one of our first iterations, it really shows where we were going as a brand because each of these stitches is hand done, all of the detailing in terms of the cutting pattern and in terms of just where the buttons are placed really make a statement. This is a lambskin leather as opposed to the cowhide that we use for the icon jacket. I love the orange stitching that this jacket has. In our earlier design iterations, you'll see a lot of orange stitching, orange being the signature JL Rocha color. Not only has this aged beautifully in terms of the patina and I do still wear it when I get the chance, but it's just something that is modern, sleek, and also still carries this sense of wild adventure that the original asymmetrical moto jacket has carried throughout history. The original JL Rocha field jacket. This one was named the Pepe. Named aptly so because this is one of my dad's favorite jackets. It's equally lightweight to our current Aventura field jacket that is reminiscent and a new reference of this design. The big differences in terms of the Aventura jacket and this jacket are obviously the material. We used a chocolate lambskin for this that develops a very unique patina. We have the JL Rocha orange stitching on this one as well, a testament to our earlier designs. And the Aventura field jacket that we currently have actually uses the same lambskin leather in two different colors. We have honey and we have black. And the big difference here is in the lining. Our latest 
consideration of the design has a higher percentage of cotton. This difference in percentage between cotton and polyester makes the jacket a little bit warmer in the newer references and can help you stay a bit more bundled up and insulated when you're dealing with colder weather. The Hunter Style Minimalist Moto Jacket. Now this is a special jacket. This design is unique in that very few people have actually seen this iteration of the jacket. When we developed the Minimalist Moto jacket, we also wanted to see what it would look like in suede. And one of the bigger design influences for this suede jacket was to utilize a hunter's patch to help cushion the blow from any recoil when hunting in traditional settings. And this particular iteration of the jacket actually has a leather patch as opposed to the version that that we released to the public which had just a hand stitched diamond pattern that gave it a little bit more of a refined look this creates more of a contrasting sense and really just adds to that hunter's aspect that gives it this rugged tone while i don't wear this jacket too often i do still think it's one of my favorite pieces in my collection because it just has this unique complexity to it that is a beautiful balance of refinement softness and tenderness but also this rugged inspiration that comes from being a traditional man's man. Chocolate Asymmetrical Moto Jacket. This jacket is another iteration of our classic asymmetrical moto style. I think that this is such an interesting balance between our original asymmetrical moto jacket and the Icon jacket. This is a little bit of a thicker diameter lambskin leather, so it does feel thicker to the touch. We released this as a limited time style paired with our Grasso shoes and bags that we combined with Antonio Centeno. He actually helped us influence this design in that he wanted something that was reminiscent of our original asymmetrical moto jacket but also something that could be worn across the board we removed any of the accenting stitching from this jacket keeping it very minimalistic all of the diamond stitching patterns are still there and the complexity in the pattern cutting for the leather is also there but it's just something that's a little less flashy this jacket doesn't have any buttons on the lapels it doesn't have any of the contrasting stitching that you'll see in other iterations of the asymmetrical moto jacket this is the kind of asymmetrical moto jacket that I like to wear if I'm just going somewhere very nonchalantly. I think this jacket goes well with pretty much any style. The asymmetrical moto jacket in bone. I made this jacket because I love the rock and roll style. I used to love the Ramones and I still do. And this jacket is really something that I think harkens to that rock and roll style. Something that says I'm not afraid to get dirty but I'm also not afraid to be the center of of attention. It comes in this beautiful white leather that we call bone and it just is something that is understated but still really brings attention to you. The craftsmanship on this is one of my favorite things. We kept things very light in terms of details and accents but the platinum finish zippers, the white runners in terms of the zipper lining and of course the diamond stitched pattern on the underside of the sleeves I think really make this jacket so dynamic. It's something that you would definitely wear for a special occasion but it's also something that you could wear every day and really show off your own personal sense of unique style. Something else that's beautiful about this jacket that I love is that it really makes room for being customized. When we first released this my dad knew of this artist that I really loved and he commissioned somebody in San Diego where we come from and where our headquarters is to draw and design a unique pattern on the back of this jacket that is reminiscent of my astrological sign which is a Gemini and inspired by an artist that I absolutely love and this jacket is just so unique to me it really has this amazing design and artwork on the back and I think that if anybody has this particular jacket the scuffs and any of the marks really show off your own personal and unique style but if you want to take it to the next level you can really express yourself on this beautiful leather and make it completely your own. Rugged Moto Jacket in Shark. This particular jacket did not have a specific name. We utilized the newer naming convention when it comes to our jackets shortly after this collection was released. But this is another jacket that was released in a limited run. It was released in conjunction with a beautiful ox blood 
counterpart, and it's a very simple silhouette. We made sure that all of the patterns were minimalistic, but they were still something that could show off the craftsmanship from Mexico. And what I love about these jackets is particularly not just the colors. I think that the gray and the oxblood have a very unique tone to them that is rich and deep. And the patterns in terms of the sleeve pattern, I believe is something that is just wonderful. It has this sort of parabolic curve that comes on to the sleeves closer to the cuff. It adds an extra dimension of stitching to the jacket that pulls your attention away from the shoulders and it makes it more unified. So it's not just a jacket that has this rugged element to it, it also carries a bit more refinement and just brings it all together in a unique and tasteful way. Now this is a green asymmetrical moto jacket in suede. This is another jacket that people have never seen before. The craftsmanship on this was not my favorite in terms of getting the suede to work well with the shape. It is a beautiful lambskin olive green suede, but the issue with this when we're constructing the jacket is that we would have to add additional elements in terms of stitching and piping in order to make the shape really maintain itself and hold, which would take away from the beauty of the suede material. I do still love this jacket and I've worn it on occasions. It makes me feel more adventurous and rugged with this sense of refinement that is unique to me because the green suede is something that you don't see too often and when I do wear it one of my biggest challenges is just getting the shape to stick. The asymmetrical fold on this jacket has difficulties because there's space between the suede and in terms of wearing it it does still look good. I'm not afraid to wear it in sort of a more casual street wear style but personally speaking it is one of the jackets that gets the least amount of attention in my collection the gray suede kimono jacket this jacket is another jacket that people have never seen before I absolutely love this style this is a personal sample that I made just for me and really it's because I was inspired greatly by Japanese design at the time and I felt that the traditional smoking jacket style could be combined with this kimono look in a way that would be dynamic and unique and I came up with this design that utilizes a mixture of our shark gray leather and our gray lambskin suede and I also added on top of this a shawl collar in terms of the design and the shawl collar I think really adds this cozy element to it gives it the traditional smoking jacket look I paired on the diamond stitch pattern on the back side of the sleeves just to give it a little bit more complexity but I wear this jacket very frequently for me it's a big personal and special occasion jacket I love to wear this casually with a turtleneck or even with just just a t-shirt I think that it looks great and elevates any look it's not something that I think anyone can pull off you really need a sense of confidence and uniqueness that keeps you elevated and kind of a little weird to be perfectly honest mixed media leather bomber jacket I think this jacket is just a beautiful blend of city style and rugged living you can see the ribbing on the sleeves that makes it more malleable and easy to bend your arms and move around but the construction of the body is also something that's a little bit more casual it really can be elevated in its own way by pairing on fine materials a nice cashmere sweater and layering things appropriately but it can also be worn down in more casual settings I believe that this jacket really runs the gamut because you can wear this in any weather you can wear this with any style and really it still has its own unique powerful elements to it one of the things that I love about this jacket is the white piping on the collar. This was a little feature that I thought would really make the jacket unique in its own way and I think it goes very far to create dynamic looks because the white serves as a contrast to anything else that you're wearing. I think that it draws a little bit more attention but it doesn't draw so much attention that it looks like you're wearing this jacket to be flashy. The Antonio Centeno Special Reference Hidalgo Style Leather Jackets. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with JL Rocha collections, we have a long history of working with Antonio Centeno from Real Men Real Style. He's one of my favorite people, a wonderful gentleman and individual. He's a man of 
honor and with his history in the Marines, he's really somebody who I look up to as far as an educator of both men's style but also men's lifestyle. And we collaborated with Antonio Centeno to create these very unique suede jackets and they serve as a testament to both our craftsmanship but also the beauty of suede. Now the original leather reference of this jacket is still available as part of our classic collection and was inspired by Miguel Hidalgo. His clerical background inspired the collar but his revolutionary background inspired the ruggedness of the material that we selected. In the brown and black lambskin you can really use this jacket as any type of style. You can put it through the ringer, you can wear it in terms of harsh conditions and you can travel with it but it also will maintain this refined look because it carries details that I think are very unique. It's something that really needs to be enjoyed with its own special lens. In terms of these suede style jackets, when we collaborated with Antonio Centeno we wanted to do something that he found unique and that he could provide to his community in terms of something that people have never seen before. So we made five different samples of this jacket. We made a Oxford gray, an olive green, a sand, a midnight blue suede, and a oxblood suede. And in the end we ended up choosing the Oxford gray, the brown sandstone, and the oxblood suede. And I think those three colors really do sing. They are really the most unique versions that we could have come out with. I still have all of the different color references that we created, including the olive green and the midnight blue. But I have to say my favorite out of this entire collaboration has to be a toss up between the Oxford gray and the oxblood. This burgundy color is just 100% rich. If you have this oxblood colored jacket, I have to say, Hats off to you because you're a man of style and you have a jacket that I think is one of our most unique jackets to date. The Rufino Moto Jacket. Now this is a jacket that is a traditional men's jacket. Me personally, this is the most classic design that we make in terms of leather jacket history. It really is reminiscent of motorcycle jackets and it carries all of the great features that they have. A few things that I love about this is that we crafted it not only in this beautiful black lambskin as part of our artist collection, but we also then gave it its own space to shine in a beautiful chocolate suede and a maple suede. I really think that the stitching on this is a unique testament to our craftsmanship, but it also harkens back to the origins of leather jackets in men's fashion. It's a functional piece that you can wear anywhere that goes perfectly with your motorcycle, with your travels, but still has this elevated luxurious look. And really the Rufino jacket is to me something that is very special because it is reminiscent of Rufino Tamayo. He carries our family namesake in that on my grandmother's side her maiden name is Tamayo and I've always been inspired by both his art and his photography as well as his time in New York. This jacket and this design is all about that. Being able to go where you need to go, do what you need to do, and still have this inner spark that says I care about the way that I see the world and the way that the world World sees me. The Rivera Suede Bomber Jacket. This has to be my favorite design ever. I love it. It's developed a beautiful patina over the years. I've worn this in New York. I've worn this in Italy. I've worn this in London. I've worn this in Chicago. I've worn this everywhere. And it's the kind of jacket that you can wear everywhere as long as it's not raining. We used this gorgeous lambskin suede and one of my personal loves for this jacket is that I really wanted to see if our artisans could use this ribbing and make it out of suede instead of a lycra or a wool which is traditionally utilized in these types of jackets and I think that it really goes far. This ribbing makes the jacket look more elevated it brings it all together and a couple of extra features that I love are the contrasting pockets and the contrasting zipper runners I think that that just gives it a little bit more depth gives it a little bit more complexity and this is the kind of jacket that as you wear it more and more it's going to blend with your body it's basically just the most comfortable jacket that I've ever worn I love wearing it it's the most worn jacket in my collection 100% the Villa Asymmetrical Mixed Media Jacket. 
Few people may know, but our family business in Mexico where we manufacture our products actually also creates a lot of letterman jackets. We do this for both the police force in Leon, Guanajuato and also for a lot of the schools and universities. And we wanted to take this design and these concepts into an asymmetrical moto jacket, pairing the best of both worlds. And we really wanted to make sure that the midnight blue leather had its own time to shine. It's not the complete construction of this jacket, it's only on the sleeves and on the collar, and the body is a black wool. And this black contrasting with the blue really showcases the depth of the color. I really love the casual look of this jacket, but I do also elevate it from occasion to occasion. I love wearing this with black pants and a dark navy dress shirt to bring together all of the colors that can be seen within this jacket. As you wear it, the patina will develop and you'll see more of the petrol blue that is a part of the midnight blue leather coloring. And you'll also have the black that maintains its color because of the material that it's utilized on. So this jacket traverses the best of both worlds. It's functional, it's lightweight, and it's something that if you need something to wear to automatically elevate your look without feeling like you're wearing too much, this is the jacket that you want to go for. The Gaspar Leather Lumber Jacket. I think that the Leather Lumber Jacket, even though it's inspired by lumber jackets from Canada and their original designs, this jacket to me says America. It makes me think of Goodfellas and when I finally had the opportunity to bring this design to life, I didn't want it to be something that was very form fitting. I wanted it to be oversized so I could wear it with sweaters, so I could wear it with a lot of different layers and so it would survive the Midwest winter. I was dealing with a lot of snow and I wanted something that I could wear as a layering piece that had its own unique style to it. And this leather jacket is absolutely beautiful. It's a calfskin which is different from our traditional lambskin leather and suede that we utilize. So it's a bit thicker than some of our other jackets which helps keep you warm, but it's also treated in such a way where it is still lightweight. We used the best part of the leather for this so we didn't use the full diameter that we could have. And the accented buttons on this jacket help to keep it tight in case you need to move it. They are functional buttons, but you don't really need to do that because when you use this as a layering piece, it's gonna elevate your look, but it's not too flashy and it's going to help you stay looking cool no matter what layering pieces you're wearing under. Saving the best for last, we have the Icon Jacket. This is the jacket for the leather purist. This is the cream of the crop in leather manufacturing and craftsmanship. We used a full cowhide for this. This is the complete diameter of all of the leather that you can use and it's going to show in the weight of this jacket. It's our heaviest jacket, it's our warmest jacket, and we use a 100% cotton lining. But we keep the JL Rocha signature craftsmanship that you can expect from us. I love the diamond stitching on this because it combines the original diamond stitching in orange, but it elevates it with the cream stitching that we used from the Aventura jacket. Putting together all of the lessons that we've learned over the years in terms of our craftsmanship and design. That also is a testament when you look at the zippers. The zippers that we utilized for this Icon jacket are the best zippers we've ever made to date. And these zippers are really truly unique in that they carry our family crest. The buttons on the lapel carry our family crest and the inside cotton lining is a beautiful crafted piece. It keeps you warm, maintains your body heat, and combined with the thickness of this leather jacket means that you can wear it in some of the coldest temperatures and it will keep you warm. It's something that consistently finds its way into my wardrobe during the colder months of the year and I'm looking forward to seeing how it develops over time. This beautiful rich chocolate leather is already something that looks gorgeous, but the more that I wear it, the more malleable this jacket becomes the more it forms to my contours and the better it looks as I wear it. And those are all of my leather jackets in my personal collection. If you want to see more of our leather jackets, I highly encourage you to visit our showroom in San Diego, make an appointment on our website so I can make it a point to travel there and see you and greet you and talk to you about some of our history. You can ask any of the questions that you have. Tell me which jacket from all of these jackets is your favorite in the comments. That does enter you into our monthly giveaway and we are so excited 
excited because next year we're going to continue this content. We're going to be making more leather style videos for you. Tell us what you want to see. Tell us which is your favorite jacket. Tell us which of these jackets you also own and share it with us on social media. Me and my dad love to see you. We love to hear from you and we really want to grow this community so every man feels confident in whatever style they have. Can a man own too many leather jackets? I hope I've answered that question as no because I love my collection. I think it's full and rich with both of my family history, the journey I've had with my father, which has been a massive privilege, and the different elements that I've learned from you are relevant in terms of a leather jacket. So thank you for joining me on this journey. Thank you for watching all of my leather jackets. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Follow us on all of our social media. We can't wait to keep sharing more with you. For JL Rocha Collections, this was Leather Style, and I am Jose Noel Rocha. Thank you so much, and hasta luego.